Welcome to KSP. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I can't even. This is a tank. It's not actually a tank. Okay. This is one. This is version one of KSP. As you can see, I've got my ore rig in here. Fucking ore rig. I'm going to drop it off, but I've forgotten the key bindings, which is going to be fun. Meaning I'm going to have to deploy the parachutes. And drop no, I need to drop it and then deploy the parachutes. Cause I, I remembered that it has so I'm just gonna pull up a bit. Uh, a bit. Let's get over land. This thing goes pretty fast. Pretty fast. Uh it's got a whole bunch of air brakes in the center, which will probably just tear my thing in half. Uh it's got six engines on it, two on the front, four on Lebec. So yeah, I'll show you the ore rig when I drop it. <laughs> Huh, this is gonna end badly. Okay. I should technically do a nose dive and then drop it, but I'm scared to do a nose dive. Oh god. Just leaning back, it might just hit the back of the plane and drop down. I have all four people in here, all four Kerbins. Look at this. But it's a good plane design. I literally just half ass made this because I wanted to make a dropper. I was originally gonna do it with like flat panels on the in the middle, but and have it just open air, but then I couldn't connect the back of the plane. So fuck that idea. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh there's a bit of a tank, I told you this. Doesn't like maneuvering. Does not like maneuvering. Get back to being level. Get back to being the. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. No. I don't want to turn. See? I don't know. Maybe it's just one side is heavier than the other. I don't have a clue. But. Oh, screw it. We'll drop it. No, that was just space bar, that did nothing. Oh, come on. I'm just tempted to just do a fucking back roll. And... Called it. Get out. Thank you. Here it is. Drop the fucking parachutes. Was it free? I have to wait the parachutes on that. I don't know where the heck it's going to land. Gear. Yeah, there we go. Get down. Turn sass off. Switch back to my other plane. Oh, God. That was a pretty successful drop, if I do say so myself. And then this thing is just... So what's one? Two? Three, four. Four is the rear engines. I heard an explosion. I may have lost my other vehicle. Did I lose it? I must have exploded because I wasn't. I must have hit the mountain. Oh well. That freaking ended horribly. But I like the plane. Nope. Four is engines. Three is gears. Two should be air brakes. Yep, yep, yep. That was fun. Oh my god. Well, I lost my ore rig, so this thing is going to be fucking useless. This is the plane for transporting anything around Kerbin. <laughs> That's what it's used for. And the new version, because obviously I don't know anything about the new aerodynamics in the game. This thing goes pretty fast. That's the I just don't know. Is it five? If I get rid of the front engines. Oh, no. whatever. We're gonna just crash it.
Murder, murder, we're going down. There you go. Oh god, I'm actually just holding W. <laughs> just not, I'm not even hitting any keys. Now I'm in Q. Doing nothing. E doing nothing. W doing. Hit again nothing. I'm just gonna refer back to the space plane hangar anyway. Oh, can we do a backflip? Oh, belly flop. Well, there you go. Vessel destroyed. You cannot autosave at this point. I don't want to. I want to revert to the space plane hangar. And I'll show you the all vessel. In a bit more detail. What am I fucking staging? Look, one, nothing, two was. Oh, those are the things. Three is nothing. Four was the engines. Oh, I didn't actually set them as a thing. Oh, well. We've been stupid. So let's grab this. Uh, actually, no, I need it with something. Uh, let's put it on the end of the bar. Okay, so here, <laughs> here it is. It's very half assed. I, d I built it inside the thing so I didn't have any. <laughs> Hang on it. So it's got one drill that when deployed drills into the ground. Obviously. It has these these gears to hold it in place. It's basically so it sits on its ass. Which is this part. There's a huge docking clamp for when you need a dock, it's got batteries, it's got solar panels, you can't deploy them in here. But yeah, it's pretty basic. I will, uh, I'm going to end this here. And I will come back later in a sec when I find something else that's fun to do. I'm going to just put this in two different parts because I want to see what else I can do. I'm going to try and build a rocket to the moon. I did it in class, now I can do it in here in 15. So I did it in 15 minutes on the previous version, so I can do it. In this version. Be right back with a proper ship. Spaceship. Smiley face. And we're back. Took me a while to design this damn thing. The freaking top, it just looks so stupid. But that's the fairing. Well, I can't really look up there right now, but. That's the fairing. Oh, okay, well, let's just, uh. Move this into here well let's see if I can get this thing into orbit rather making loud bangs outside Surprisingly aerodynamic. Well, here we go. To space. No, no, come on. Don't spin out. I'm like manually controlling this even though SAS is on. Come on. This is all in celebration of the new release. I know I'm like, you know, stupid and last on the scene, but who cares? Breaking through the last parts of the atmosphere means I can ditch my fairing at some point. This this last stage, this this one here has got to get me to the moon, and this thing can land and take me home. Let's check my orbit. Come on, game. I've already beaten your aerodynamic mode. Aerodynamic mode? Aerodynamic needs... I watched one video for about 10 seconds and instantly knew how to get into orbit. I wish I didn't accidentally blow up the launch pad. Let's see... No RCS this time either. Always forget. Hashtag always forget. 
Always for gas, yes. Doesn't have to be a good orbit. Alright, let's do this. Let's get into an orbit. Look at this. Oh, let's ditch the fairing. Look at that. That's my lander. It's a very close orbit. I'm usually orbiting 100,000, but now I'm just... See, the thing isn't even... It's barely... A 3.5 meter part. Oh. It just sticks out, and then the freaking the thing has to go. Woo, 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 woo. It just means it's stupid. Gave me the aerodynamic part uh, thing I needed, so. This thing's gotta get me into orbit. Oh, it's not gonna, is it? It's gonna get me most of the way there. Do it. No. Whoa. Can you not? Are your friends? Are your family here? Set us target. Why did I do that? I think if I burn. Here, I get an intercept, right? Here, it's about here. Like a really close flyby. I'll do. I can't really fine tune that anymore, really. I got a hundred kilometer orbit. Walk around the planet, not skipping anything out really because I forgot. Because editing the audio alongside the video is really hard to do. Because the way the way Moon's Move Maker cuts up the video and the audio is horrible. So I am I'm recording it with the audio separated, so it it does tend to be a bit of a pain. We're just screwing them over slightly, but who cares? I'm burning the minuscule amounts of fuel just to get on the node. Damn, son. Let's warp a bit closer. About, uh, we'll see here. Oh, what the heck is this? There's some lag. Get rid of that. Oh, 
I think this may just I may just be ditching a huge fuel tank in orbit. I think maybe I when I go back to the space uh, space plane. Why am I wobbling? All right, that's me. I fucked up. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what's going on. Let's just get closer to this. I don't know what's going on over here. I like I was alright, I guess. I don't know. Let's go have a look. Hey look at that. Freaking moon orbit. Let's accelerate a bit more. There we go. Puff waked. Let's get the heck out of here. Get out of Dodge. That was just my freaking burn stage. I suppose if I can get into an orbit with it. Yeah, definitely put a freaking docking, docking port on it. And then put docking port on my rocket so I can refuel next time I do this. Because now at the moment it's just going to have a huge... I'm glad they auto slow down. That's nice. That's nice. I'm right by the... Oh god. Powerful engine. The RCS would really help me out here. I mean, that'll do. It's not exactly the tidiest orbit I've ever done. But we're now going to just ditch this whole thing. Look how much fuel is left in there. Oh well. It's gone. No getting that back. See, there's no... There's no blader. There's no um, anything underneath that. Open. What's that? Oh God. That scared the crap out of me. Let's extend these panels because I didn't do that earlier. It's got. It's got radiate generators in here anyway. But you know, there, there they are. But okay, let's let's close this. Let's leave that open forever now. I do not want to touch that anymore. Let's get the living crap out of me. All right, let's go down. I may just toggle it to two engines in a minute. I want to see if I can get straight down, because otherwise it's going to be a pain. It's going to be a massive pain to uh, slow down vertically and be all... Oh, well, I don't care how much fuel I use. If I get stuck here, I'll mount a rescue mission. That would be a fun video. Okay, that is... Okay. I managed to turn on the camera. Let's head down. Okay. <laughs> Still paying a rotate as ever. It's a, it's a big chunky lander. You know, it's it's not. <coughs> I wouldn't say it's baby's first lander. <laughs> Get it? It's a joke. It's a joke. Let's just slow down.
you, I'm f from this video, you'd think I'd done it before. Land on the moon correctly. I may save a screenshot of me landing on the moon. I need to use the thumbnail, but that'll be nice. Yeah, I should have enough fuel to get home. I just want to do a hop. Because I did that when I was at school, and that ended terribly. I had to just smack down with no fuel. I burnt the last of it doing a little hop. Oh god, someone came online. Let's get the living crap out of me. <coughs> these these legs can take about eleven to twelve meters per second. I I tested it. skillful guy who lands at like three two meters per second or whatever and we're down we made it this is a pretty fabulous design uh, if you do want to copy it I recommend Maybe putting a bit more of a gap, or because this thing, or just chancing the, because this thing knocked my all of my engines, almost probably almost. If I'd uh, if this would have been a bigger one, I probably would have sheared everything off. But I've got my ablator here, ready for re-entry when I go home. Um, I suppose I could, if I, if you wanted to, you could have two of these missing, and replace them with drills, and have like a small area on here and. Like put like replace two of these with um bore holds, and you have to bring down a, a refinery separately with a little boogie bu boogie buggy buggy boogie. Where's Jebsy? He says a spaz a spazzing nav ball. Software glitch update before flight. Don't forget. Danger risk of electricity shock. Electric shock warranty void if opened. Okay, dokie. Let's read everything. Um, get permission to use ship. Turn off oven. Check for missing parts. Tighten loose screws. Sit in chair. Turn on ship systems. Check fuel reserves. Check snack. I don't know. I don't know what that says. I don't know what that says. Check snack something. Um, run system diagnos diagnostics. Check. Something construct. Engage SAS. Remember. EVA helmet. Close airlock hatch. Well, we did all those. Well, that's awesome. There's another one up there, but I'm not going to read it. Okay. Let's get out. Jump. Bonk. Look at this, this is he's so awesome. No. Look at Jebediah. Look at the sun. Quickly before it sets. I just have the hexagon flag. I wanna uh, it's just just flag. <laughs> I think it's like F one? Two? <gasps> F two. And I got a message. I'll check that in a sec. Uh, print screened. Okay, well, I'm going to just rec cut recording and then I'll get back when I'm in a closer urban orbit. That'll be fun. Be right back. We're on final burn for Kerbin. I don't know why I didn't show a takeoff, but I, cause I need to reply to some messages I got. Oh, that's horrible. If I keep burning, what happens? Okay, let's just get into curb and orbit, shall we? It's a really big orbit. I didn't think that would happen. I probably burned the wrong way when liftoff. 
Oh well. Oh, for God's sake. Alright. I need to retro burn as much as possible and skim the atmosphere and then just ditch everything. I just need to get into a decaying orbit. Decaying orbit, decaying orbit. I somehow got tracked back to the moon. I just need a decaying orbit. I really don't care how I get it. I'm going to keep the fuel just in case I need to do any last minute burns. And sorry, I knocked the microphone. I just banged it a bit as I was scratching my chin. Got a spot on my chin, it hurts. We got a. Just a decaying orbit would just be. And then the bite of heat shield would hopefully absorb most of the damn. Shock. Well, let's get a bit closer. We can use the rest of the fuel to burn off some speed. We can do the rest from um, from ship view. Uh, sh I'm going to retract the solar panels. And then retract the, the bay. And probably shear off my engines as I do so. I just don't want to accidentally eject the ablator. I have enough parachutes just to create enough drag alone. But. Okay, this is what happens. Do I shear him off? Oh, but it does spaz the fuck out. Okay. Coming in to Kerbin. Hello again. Hopefully over land. It looks like it. This whole area. Along here is where I probably might land. Although I am going to be. Okay, let's slow down. Waste. Just burn the rest of our fuel. Don't want to have it coming too steep. I did set the re-entry effects to like 50% I believe because I'm not exactly the best I could probably gain an orbit with this fuel but I'm not gonna I can gain an orbit, I'm in orbit anyway but I mean I could re-get my orbit sorry I was gonna do it from here wasn't I I don't have my jab, I can't check my orbital thing so I'm doing this Okay, that's it. Everything's gone. Now, what's left is the parachutes and what the ablator does. Can handle. Sorry, there's a few just rendering lag issues, but... Just re-enter... Gotta keep on point. And we're back in Kerbin's atmosphere, so I'm manually controlling descent now. Oh, it's risky, but it's, it's not entirely possible that I'm gonna die. It's not within the realm of impossibility that I will die. I will probably burn up. I do, all I did this, I, at least I'm happy. I did this new version, went to the feckin' moon. Um, I don't know the fuck I did in the beginning. It was just like I fired about with the plane. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's a lot of fire. It's not good. My heat shield is just sort of standing. I just realized heat shield doesn't protect the outside of my pod. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to go with a one meter one next time. Okay, well, I'm going to turn off SAS. Just, uh... I don't care. I already know. Oh, yeah, I, I delete KSP every time I install mods if there's an update. And they break my game. See previous video. I did on KSP. Freaking stupid. I, they, I think they called the R ARM-120 missiles. I called them an ARAM. I don't know why. We're coming down over land, but doop doop, which means I'm happy. Yeah, the the plan isn't moving fast enough for me to miss the land. Are your friends? Are your family here? I wish I could like 
warp faster, but I can't. I'm so glad they added the, the Z to full throttle. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Oh, what's it say? Parachute here. Shoot lock. Um, I think. Let's have a look what this looks like. <gasps> that looks awesome. Fabulous. <laughs> Alright. I'll join you back on the ground. More editing for me. Woo. We can see our shadow now, Mission Control. We're coming in for landing. All successful. My god. <laughs> Fucking spazzing out strings. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well... Yeah, it's going to take even longer to hit the ground, but six parachutes will do that. Yeah, we're almost at the ground anyway. We do 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 do. I wish this would like accidentally like tear off one of the parachutes. That would be fun. And we'll slow down physics warp as we get closer. Jebediah seems all happy. And we're touching down. Ooh, whoa. I'm, I probably could have put a ladder in here and, and Jeb would be able to get back in, but I'm just going to tip over. And we're down. No, I don't, it's too heavy. The bottom is too heavy. We'll open it. We'll deploy the solar panels and we'll leave it here. Oh, oh whoa. Well, we'll deploy a solar panel. <laughs> or eject the ablator. Uh, I can't eject the ablator. It's not... Let me do it now. Okay. Oh my god, this just some of the some of the some of the things. Anyway. Well base, we're back on the ground. Jebediah's just repacking the shoots. I don't know why. I've never done it before. I've never had to. I've never had a SSTO before. SSTOs I would imagine use parachutes to slow down. How else the fuck would they do it? Air brakes, obviously. But I didn't think it actually were collisionable. But with the ground, I thought they were just null entities. Okay. I'd like to thank you for watching this either extremely long or whatever, I don't know, video on the 1.0 release. Uh, happy video I did just randomly. I went to the fucking moon. If you've seen any of my other KSP videos, you know I, I'm crap at building rockets. But that one was pretty fucking terrible. But it, it did it. It did it. It did it with the new aerodynamics. So yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. Twitter's in the description, and I will see you when I see you. Bye. Everybody clap your hands.